right, welcome everybody. This is video number 40, and this one's going to be all about chemical equations. I found this crazy PowerPoint. It made me think of what it looks like out today. We just got a bunch of big snow all over a Saturday night, so it's uh, Sunday afternoon here on the farm. So, all right, here we go. All right, so summary, in the end, I want you to be able to see all these words that you have over here, reactant, product, yield sign, coefficient, subscript, chemical formula, element, symbol. I want you to be able to look at either a diagram or one that's written out, and I want you to be able to label all the different parts of those, and that's what I'm gonna teach you today um, in the video. So let's talk about chemical equations. So first of all, what are they? They are a summary of a chemical reaction. They take the place of a sentence, which I'm sure we appreciate because you don't have to write down these long, big essays. It's just quite simply, you've got symbols and numbers. So chemical equations, if you were to give you the difference between a language arts version and a chemistry version of this exact equation you have up here, this is what it would say. One sodium atom combines with two atoms of chlorine gas, which yields two molecules of sodium chloride, which is also known as table salt. That's an awful lot of writing. And the chemistry version below, you've got Na plus Cl2 yields, and that's how you read the arrow, two NaCl. Those two things, both the language arts version and the chemistry version I just read you there, mean the exact same thing. Personally, I enjoy the chemistry version because it's quick and easy to do. So what do chemical equations contain? Well, they contain symbols instead of words. We would never write out carbon monoxide. We would always just write CO. And it always gives you the chemical formula for each compound. So if you were talking about water, you would write H2O. If you're talking about down here, CH4 is methane, you would write it as CH4. You would never actually write it all the way out. So what is the structure of a chemical equation? Well, I'm hoping that you've noticed already is that there is always an arrow, and there's always symbols, and there's always numbers. Now when you start breaking those down to each side, so if I want to call your attention to things on the left hand side, I'm going to ask you to look for the reactants. And if I want you to focus on what you're going to end up with, I'm going to ask you what is the product of that. So structure of a chemical equation. The left side, everything that's to the left of the arrow is called a reactant. Now you can have one, two, five, eight, ten. it doesn't matter. We never say arrow, that is so not cool. We say yields, okay? And the other thing, on the right-hand side, we call those products. And again, you can have one, two, five, eight, or 10, or whatever it is that you need. But if you're on the right side, you're a product. If you're on the left side, you're a reactant. And that arrow, we don't say arrow, we say yields. Now, reactants, if you needed to describe them, this is what I would say. It's what you start with. It's the beginning part of the reaction and includes everybody to the left of the arrow. It can be as few as just one teeny little compound or as many as needed. You could have something plus something plus something plus something else. And as long as they're on the left hand side of that arrow, they're considered your reactants. Now the yield sign or the arrow um, is how we produce or how we change something. We never, 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 never use an equal sign. Plus, because two things don't equal each other, you're having something, a chemical reaction change. Remember, chemical reaction gives you something new. It always shows the direction of the equation, and it always separates the reactants from the products. Also notice it always goes to the right, it never goes to the left, or it never goes both ways. Now the products is what you end with, or it's the ending part of the reaction. It's the conclusion, if you will. It includes everybody to the right of the arrow. And again, it can be as few as just one tiny little compound, or it can be as many as needed. You could take a huge compound and bust it up into five or six different parts. But if you're on the right-hand side, you're considered a product. I want you to look at this equation and understand what the two different things I'm showing you. One is like sort of a picture version, and one is sort of the symbols. Those mean the exact same thing. And in fact, I'm gonna teach you as we go along how to actually create these and make them. But for right now, I just want you to see on the left hand side here, we've got two reactants. We got CH4, which is methane, and O2, which is oxygen. We've got the yield sign. And then on the right hand side, we have two products. We have carbon dioxide and we have water. Okay, make sure that you can label those parts. I want you to be able to combine all the terms that we have talked about together, and I want you to be able to label them. In these equations, I would like you to identify the reactants and the products. So go ahead, put me on pause. Let's see what you can do. All right, is it two thumbs up time? Maybe one up, one down? All right, so the reactants here, you would write them as 3H2 plus N2. You wouldn't separate those out. 
Um, and then on the reactants on the bottom side, you would have two Al2O3. And again, the products for the first one is two at H3, and the products for the bottom one are actually two separate ones. You've got four Al or four aluminum, and three O2, which is oxygen. All right, so here's your chemical equation summary. I'm gonna give you a uh, chemical equation here, and I want you to label it with your seven vocab terms. For a reactant, product, yield sign, now, if you're like, uh, hold on, Ms. Burke, you didn't do the coefficient. I did that one in the last video. Remember, I hope you remember, subscript, that was the video before. Chemical formula, you should know, and element symbol, you better know by now. So, all right, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.